guys, what is up? It is Carl Plankin with Plankin's Networking, and today we're going to be showing you a very easy, very simple task for your Windows users to do in their work environment or home environment. Now, if you have a remote and a computer, you probably know what RDP means, which means our uh, remote desktop protocol. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a custom RDP file. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run remote desktop. So just type in remote desktop connection into your search or you can type in MSTSC and that'll pull right up. Then once we open this up we want to click on show more options. Now we're going to come through here, we're going to choose all the settings we want, we're going to do full screen for ours, we're going to make sure it has 32 bit color. Uh, we want it to display the connection bar when I use the full screen. Local resources, we will have it play on the remote computer for remote audio, which means it will not record our audio I believe. Now we're going to turn off printers, clipboard, we can leave on. Programs. If there's any programs you want to run as you log in, you can do that here. Experience. We're going to do, since I have a fast connection here, we're going to do LAN. We're going to do LAN, actually. Therefore, uh, that, that way we get the full performance of a regular desktop. Then we're going to come over here to Advanced. If you don't want it to warn you about it, not having a valid certificate, if that pops up, you can do... Alrighty then, now that you guys are halfway through being bored, make sure to check out our sponsor for today. Are you looking for someone to take some professional pictures for you? Well, look no further. Whether it's professional portraits for a business website or maybe just some simple family photos for a wedding, Swanky Rumble Photography is the way to go. Make sure to message them via the link below in the description and set up an appointment today. And now, as promised, I will get back to boring you guys. Connect and don't warn me. You can also do an RD uh, remote desktop gateway. I and then 192.168.1.50 is my IP address for the computer we're going to be using to remote into. So we're just going to come down here now and click save as. And we're going to come, I'm going to save this in my desktop. So we're going to come here and type in SRV. 01 full screen. This is just how I title them. I have one that's 1024 by 768, and that is just depending on which computer I'm using, on which one I'll use. So we're going to save this here, and then we're going to close this window. Then, if we come to remote computers and we click on full screen and connect. We'll type in our password now, which I think I might have just typed wrong. Apparently not. And uh, there you guys have it. It worked, and that is all for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, and also check out our Twitter and our website and our Facebook page. Have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.